Hi and welcome to a new video. In this video I just want to go through the new Asus uh, router or router if you're in the UK. Uh, uh, firmware updates that are available for multiple uh, Asus routers and just go through the change log or release notes just to see what information has been supplied and what updates have been given or any new features uh, or bug fixes have been fixed. So as we said before I normally use the Asus kind of uh, interface here so this is the web interface that you can log in normally with like 192.168.50.1 um, and then that logs you into your uh, asus router you can use the app of course as well so you can use either both so as you can see here we've got a, a, the flashing kind of bell icon for notifications so that normally means that there's a firmware update so if you do log in and you see that then normally you can identify there's a firmware upgrade so if we just go into down here, it will be under advanced settings, administration as usual, and then to firmware upgrade. I won't uh, concentrate too much on this information here, but it does have some notes where you can go actually to the ASUS download site and the support site as well. And then as in previous videos, you've got the auto firmware upgrade. And again, I'll just clarify with this is that uh, if you are someone with your router and you just plug it in and forget about it and you never want to look at the settings again, leave this one on and also the security upgrade on as well. This will automatically, uh, soon overnight, will download and install the new firmware version so you get the latest security patches and everything else. And in this client climate where it seems to be um, every big company or something's getting hacked or data leaking and things like that or vulnerabilities, it's not just not worth it anymore. You might as well just leave these or make sure these are on um, and don't switch them off. But if you're more kind of technical person and you do check your router settings uh, regularly um, and also want to decide, identify if there's in the uh, when the new updates come along, what they're actually supplying, you know, what the upgrades are, is it new features and how potentially you could use them then um, that's something I normally switch off. Um, but to the security upgrade, I always leave on uh, so it meets any legal or regulatory requirements to be downloaded. So bug fixes that happen straight away that need to be uh, sent out. So as usual, you just come down to the firmware version, check up a date, so you click on here. You do have the uh, test beta firmware, um, but I advise leaving that off if you're this is your main routers like most people because uh, these are going to have bugs in and things like that so you don't constant disconnections or crashes it's just not worth the uh, testing it really unless you've got just a spare router and you're going to use that so as you can see here oh, I do have uh, available so normally if there's nothing available it'll just see you on the latest version but you can see here I've got the firmware upgrade button and I also I'm using AI mesh um, so if you want to know what AI mesh is then uh, I've got other videos to so just search on my channel for the AI mesh and I've got lots around that. So you can see here I've got the main router here, that's the BE98 and then my uh, AI mesh node is one is AX59U I've got there. So this is a Wi-Fi 6 and this is a Wi-Fi 7 router. You can see they've both got firmware updates so I'm going to click on here. You can just click on here and just download them. But I like to click on the latest, you can click on the underline here and it'll give you the release notes. So if I just quickly go through them with you. So as you can see here, normally it splits out. Sometimes it is a bit technical. Um, so of course now um, you can try and uh, basically identify which ones you understand and everything else. So there's six here, so we'll just go through them. So first one's around stability. So basically it's delivering smoother performance with fewer random uh, reboots or Wi-Fi drops. So the task scheduling and the packet queue handling was tuned so throughout stays consistent. So like during gaming or streaming or large file transfers on the wider 320 megahertz channels, that's more stable now. Moving on to the next one is around memory safety is improved by refactoring legacy kind of string handling and tightening input checks. So what basically this does is reduces the buffer overflow and memory leaks, which in practice means fewer uh, user interface uh, crashes and better long uptime reliability without needing reboots. Again, if you want to know more about buffer overflows and memory leaks, um, see some of my other videos where we go into a bit more details and everything else. Next is about AI cloud security. So this is a, a good one as well. Um, it's good that they're still building on this. So AI cloud security is hardened with uh, stricter sign-in checks. So basically the file path as well 
um, where it's been saved is uh, basically being cleaned up and safer command handling as well in the background. So these changes block directory transversal attempts. So basically trying to go back a directory and go through if someone manages to try and find a loophole and, and basically also stop any command injection and prevent unauthorized access to your shared files when you use the remote access feature. So again, if you are using AI Cloud for anything, it's strengthened those as well, so you're a bit more secure. Next, we go on to Web History API. So that's a validation is expanded with stricter parameter checks and command filtering. So basically any uh, malformed or malicious requests are rejected before they reach system routines. So the system, actually its main uh, operating system. So it reduces the risk of crashes and unintended command execution via logging or any history functions. So again, just basically makes your uh, router more um, stronger and more secure. Second to last, we've got VPN configuration imports are safer thanks to tighter validations and directory handling. So the router now verifies file types and content. So basically it rejects risky path tricks and uh, sim links and can find rights to safer folders, lowering the chance of loading. Uh, basically, if you're going to load like a, a .ovpn or a, an archive or anything kind of file like that to the router, now it actually checks the VPN configuration file to make sure it's validated so um, and uh, it's, it's secure. So that, that's a really good thing to see because especially as more people are using VPNs now and we've got more uh, features around the VPN fusion as well built into our routers. So lastly, we have the uh, settings integrity. So this is strengthened basically by fixing a path that could bypass certain user options. Backend enforcement now matches what you have set in your user interface, so in your app or in the web interface. So what you've set there, so basically, so controls like the uh, parental filters, the WAN blocks or admin policies cannot be silently ignored anymore. What you set there is going to strengthen the integrity of that. So again, as you can see here, and this update is about strengthening the security and adding stability. So again, I really like to see, this is why I, I always recommend Asus routers, is because they're always building on strengthening and security and also they're looking at uh, and making it more reliable as well as we come to rely on more and more on Wi-Fi and internet now for our daily uh, use. So that's the uh, BE98 uh, firmware update. So then if we go down, we can then go to the AX59U. A lot of these uh, updates are going to be roughly the same, uh, to be honest with you, because what these they do, they've got a base firmware and they do adapt it between what your router is. So they can s uh, send out the firmware much easier and quicker and it's standardized. So a lot of these will probably be roughly the same. So here we have on the updates, we have basically five updates here. So again, this is around, uh, first one's around stability improvements, making sure it's more reliable for everyday kind of load. Um, expect steadier Wi-Fi, fewer hiccups during streaming and more consistent pings for online gaming and video calls. So that's another really good thing there. We've got the memory safety as, as we've mentioned before. So this reduces the chance of any uh, crashes or slowdowns caused by memory errors. Uh, when changing the settings or uh, running for long periods of time on the router. As we know, we leave them on for months on end, 24-7 um, and everything else. Thirdly, we've got the Web History API that we've already gone through. So that's the validation in tightening the comprehensive checks, uh, comprehensive checks and expanding filtering. So the router now rejects malformed data and suspicious uh, information and tokens before they hit the internal processes, reducing the crash risk and blocking potential command injection vectors. Uh, second to last, we've got the VPN co configuration. So as we said before, this is basically just tightening up the validation and directory handling, and just making sure that when you upload anything, it's secure and prevents any kind of uh, malformed or anything that could be trying to take over your router disguised as a VPN configuration file. And as I said, that we are using lots more VPNs now. So um, it seems to be, uh, the uh, good that they're actually strengthening that. And then lastly, for the AX59U um, is the settings integrity. So again, this is the same as the before, where basically it's improving, uh, you know, closing any loopholes, as you can think of it as allowed options to be bypassed. 
So again, this is made enforcing the consistency between the user interface and what you're setting and then also system level settings as well. So that's it basically. So we've we've gone through all of that um, and then all we do now is once we are happy with that, because I do have uh, the uh, AI mesh. So now if I click on firmware upgrade, what really is good with AI mesh system is that I don't have to go into individual routers to actually, if you've got multiple of these in your household, um, you can then just click firmware upgrade and then basically it'll download the actual firmware for both of them and restart and reconfigure them all as well. So you've got it all linked up together. So that's a really good feature as well. Do give it between, again, uh, 10 minutes or probably a bit longer for if you've got uh, AI mesh because um, it has to download it first depending on your internet connection speed and then distribute it across all the different uh, routers as well. So don't, don't switch it off as well. So don't do this during a time when you've got uh, power out, outages uh, more, more likely during a thunderstorm or some bad weather. Do this as well because it potentially could brick your router when it's halfway between a firmware upgrade. And then once you've done that, it will automatically reboot. And then of course your item, your Wi-Fi devices will disconnect and anyone using it. So don't do it when your children potentially are using it for gaming or you're streaming something. Do it towards the evening time when you've got time and there's no one uh, really using it. Okay, so I hope you found this video useful as usual. And again, if I haven't mentioned the, uh, the model of your Asus router, I uh, just go into your settings and either in the app or the web interface and just do like I said go under firmware upgrade and just check for that um, to keep make sure you get all the latest features and, and you keep secure. Okay thanks for watching and have a great day.